Ellen Victoria of Victoria's Kitchen, and I am back um, for the finished product of one of those spare ribs that we have. And so, come take a look at our beautiful ribs registering between 165 and 170. Of course, the one cooked in the glass cooked faster. And look at this beautiful sauce that we have at the bottom. All right, so let's take it out and give it a nice cut. The pan is still hot. Oh my gosh, these smell so good. <laughs> oh, that smells so good. Okay, all right. And so, I know that they're done because I also took the temperature reading um, of 165, 170. And also because of the firmness of it. Oh my gosh, that brown sugar spice rub and that barbecue sauce is delicious. And also, if you come a little closer, I can tell when they're done, when the meat starts drawing back from the bones. You see how that meat is drawn back from the bones? That's how I can also start telling me. Okay. One of my favorite parts to the ribs is when you get this outer crust right here. So that's on that side of the bone. That tastes so good. We're going to set that aside. This is drawn back from the bones dramatically, so we know it's done. I'm going to cut these in two. Oh, that's good. Oh, my gosh. It was so good. Cut these in about two. This is so good. We still got one in the oven. It's still hot, so I got to be careful. Delicious, but hot. Cut on that bone. It's so good. And one of my favorite parts is that end piece. Look how beautiful that is on the outside. Nice and juicy. One of my favorite parts is that end piece with that nice crust on it that you got came from that um from that brown sugar spice rub that we made. So I'm gonna take a few pieces that we have here. Let me make sure I didn't chop down on that good enough. There we go. There we go. It's gonna be good. Plate that up right there. Okay, so good. Look at that. Look how good that is. Right there. And if you want, you can take some parsley and just sprinkle that on. And then even at the bottom, if you want to taste it, it's going to taste so good. It's good. All right. So, let me get a plate so I can plate this up. And this is just a regular dish plating. Nothing too fancy going on. We're going to put our side dishes on the same plate with our brown sugar um, barbecue ribs. And you want to save this. This, this right here, this is goodness. This is goodness that you can pour over any of your side dishes or even dip your bread into it. So let's take our buttery garlic bacon Brussels sprouts. Put some of that on the side. Now a lot of times, I don't, may not make a starch as a side. I'll just have two veggies. And that's what I did today. In case the kids aren't sure which veggies they want to eat. Them up. Let's take this piece right here. Another piece. Oh, so slippery. And there you have it. Look how good that is. Now, if we didn't have two, um, mm, I'm eating it, sorry. If we didn't have two veggie side dishes, I would take some parsley and chop it up and sprinkle it on top of the barbecue ribs. So, why don't you take a good look at this right here? This plate we got going on here, come a little closer. And I'm going to get a spoon. And if you don't want to use the balsamic vinegar that I was talking about, you see this goodness at the bottom of this pan? You can also thicken this up by pouring this in, um, into a pot over the stove and letting it simmer for a little while. But I'm going to take that. I'm going to taste it first to make sure it's not too oily. You may have to separate the oil from the you know, fat. That's good. I'm going to separate the oil and the fat. So what I'm going to do is... I am going to separate the oil from the fat so that it's not going to be an oily sauce. And I have to be careful because the pan is still hot. I just took it out the oven. Let's come closer. I want to pour this into a container that will not melt. And I'm going to skim 
some of that off on the top. Skim some of that oil off on the top. I'm just skimming off some of that oil because there's a lot of oil in there. Just naturally coming from the ribs. Okay. Alright, now. Still got a little bit of oil in there. I'm going to taste this and see if this has a flavor I want. I don't feel like thinking anything up over the stove. And that's not too bad. So you can take a little bit of that. Bring some of that oil out. You can put that, pour that right over your vegetable dishes. Just make sure it's not too much oil. Look at that. And if you want, you can also pour some more over your ribs. Look at that. Oh my gosh, how gorgeous is that? How easy is that? I showed you all how to make a quick spice rub. I showed you all how to make two quick veggie side dishes with bacon, butter, garlic, some seasoning, some organic oils, um, organic unsalted butter as well, um, the, or, the zucchini noodles, the Brussels sprouts, the brown sugar rub we did with the barbecue sauce. Look how delicious this looks, right? All right, I'm going to dig in. Let's see if I get this in. I know it's good. It's not even part of them. Rapes are meant to be a little messy. Mm. It made a thick crust from that barbecue. This thing with that brown sugar rub. Let me take a look at that. I'm going to pour it. Look. Good. And you can just fill in how everything blends in the middle. I like a little crust on mine so I cook the edges a little longer. Hold on. That's sweet and that chili spice and the brown sugar. And then let's taste our zucchini noodles with the bacon and that sauce. That's good too. Okay. Let's taste our Brussels sprouts. Take a good look here. And everything blends together. And actually, I really like the juice that we have at the bottom of the pan. It goes so well. You just pour that on top some more. And there you have it. Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. Oh my gosh, it's dripping from my... <laughs>